What's up everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. We have randomly turned into a girl in between episodes because I have finally swapped over to my Omega Ruby version. I said I was going to show off the major differences in between them and today is the first episode where... I guess a major difference will occur because we are heading into the Oceanic Museum and as you can see in Omega Ruby version, we've got Team Magma outside, whereas in uh, the version that I've been playing before, Alpha Sapphire, Team Aqua would be here. So I'm going to go ahead and do this episode kind of in this version. So before we get started, be sure to hit that like button if you are excited as we check out the first major Team Aqua and Magma event. And also before we get started, I'm going to show off my team here because it is kind of drastically different from the one I've got in Alpha Sapphire, so don't worry, I won't be switching too much in between the versions, I just want to kind of get you guys acquainted with this team, because they'll probably be coming along uh, for every episode where I show off the major differences in boss battles at least, so Beats, the Wizmer, he was from my Emerald Nuzlocke, I decided, let's keep the Wizmer around, I really like this Pokemon, and he's really good because he's got soundproof, so anytime any annoying Zubats come out, try to supersonic you, guess what, Beats don't care, and also my starter, Febreze, the Grovile. Honestly, I found that Grovile is not as good as I remember him being in the original games in these games. I'm not sure why exactly that is. It's just maybe because he's like, I don't know if my Grovile is like a physical. Yeah, my Grovile is a physical attacker. That's why. And he's been getting a lot of special moves. I think that's honestly why. But I don't know. I think later on he might be pretty good just because he'll have a good mix. And then, of course, I've got Uber the uh, Zigzagoon. Like I said, when you get someone with pickup, it's really good because they'll randomly pick up items, but he's just kind of there to have HMs just like in uh, Alpha Sapphire. So now that we did all of that, let's go check out the Oceanic Museum. Team Magma is standing outside because I still haven't talked to Captain Stern, but I wanted to see what they say when they're standing out here on the line. If there's something we need in the museum, we should take the entire museum by force. Oh boy. Oh yeah, we're also a girl here, which is kind of cool. I named her Ariel because my real name in real life is Ariel, but spelled with an E, so it's E-R-I-E-L, not A. But I think that Ariel with an A is kind of the girl version of that, so look at that. She's so perfectly still and awesome. I really like Mei. Playing as Mei in this game might be, honestly, for me at least, more enjoyable than playing as Brendan because Brendan feels like he's so bland when you play as him, but when you see him as your rival, he does so many, like, awesome faces and things, but I wonder what these guys are talking about. They don't want to pay to get in the museum. Oh, look at that. Nice little references to the real world. I know the line that I made to get this game, so this guy knows my pain. Now let's head back to the dock and talk to Mr. Captain Dude. And now that we did that, I showed it off in the last episode. All you need to do is head in there and he will automatically talk to you. So now all of the team Magma Grunts have cleared out. So let's head inside the Oceanic Museum. Oh my gosh, the music in here is so awesome. Got to go through reception though. So let's go. Is it like the bad reception? Like you got a bad phone company kind of thing? Or is it? No, it's probably not that. Reception counter, like where you go to be recepted. I don't know what the heck reception means, but apparently it's 50 bucks to get into this museum. That seems ridiculous. Wait, what? It's a secret that I was stopped because I didn't have 50 bucks. So how did you all get in here? You can't do that. You got to pay the price that it takes to the thing. Uh, sometimes I pay the life, I say. I don't know how that song goes. I like that song a lot a while ago, but... I haven't really been listening to much Skrillex. I used to really, really be into Skrillex, but I just haven't been listening to him that much recently. I guess since his new album came out like a year ago already, so I don't know. Hey, remember me? I'm the Team Magma member you thumped before. Here, take this. Oh, look at that. He's, uh, I guess, repented of his sins because he was a thief earlier, so now he's going to give us the Thief TM. That's kind of cool. And... He runs away like a little sissy boy. What are you, a girl or something? That's from a due date, right? Yeah, I was watching due date before I came over here. And I, I just, I love that movie so much. It's definitely like in my top favorite movies. Due date, because Robert Downey and Zach Galifianakis, some of my favorite actors ever. But we're not talking about movies. We are talking about the model of the Hoenn region because things are about to get serious. So let's head over here and see what is going on. Wait a second. What the heck is this? There's a video playing of a guy with a wacky hairstyle who could be a scientist conducting an experiment with some sort of machine. Huh? I don't know who the heck they're talking about there, but here is 
Captain Stern. Yes, if you're looking for Stern, that would be me. Ah, those must be the parts I ordered for Mr. Stone at Devon. Thank you for bringing the case all this way. Now we can prepare for our expedition at last. But no, because we are about to be thwarted, our plans ruined. Ha ha ha, ha 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 ha. We'll be taking those parts. What was that? Who are you people? Team Magma. Our boss has need of the parts that in case, so relinquish it to us at once. And I was saying this is going to be the first major battle. I mean, the battles themselves aren't going to be too different, so I won't show off the battles, but just assume that every Numo that you see will most likely be a Carvana when you battle it in um, Alpha Sapphire version. And then the other major difference will be afterwards. So once we finish up this battle, we'll go back to Alpha Sapphire and show off the event there because I really want to see what the differences are as far as Team Aqua and Team Magma wanting the control over land and sea respectively. So I want to see. I really... I've heard from people that the story is actually kind of different from the original version of the game, so I really want to know what is going on exactly and what is different about them. But there goes that Team Magma Grunt already. One thing that I really, really noticed that I'm kind of dumb for was that um, I kind of picked the wrong starter in each version. My, you really are incompetent. I guess you observe while a future Ace Grunt of Team Magma makes short work of this infant. Dang. Tough words, so I want to see if he can follow up on that, you know? He already said that the other guy is incompetent and that he's going to make short work of us, but for some reason, I highly doubt that. He's bringing out the Zubat, and I was saying how B-Tier is super good for handling Zubats because he's got that, um, the soundproof ability. So any kind of move that involves screaming, he just won't even care. He can't even hear that thing. How the heck does Wizmer, a Pokemon that is based around having a ton of ears... Like, huge, huge ears have soundproof. I never really got that, I guess. I don't... Maybe it's something else that I'm not thinking of. By the way, have you noticed Wismer has a little hole, like, around his butt area? Someone told me on Twitter, like, I posted that picture, and I was like, what the heck is this? Why does Wismer have a little hole on his tail? It just looks so weird and, like, out of place. Look at it. Oh, now I've made you all look at it, and it cannot be unseen. Oh, my gosh, that echoed voice damage, though is ridiculous so beats you are amazing so far i really really like echoed voice it is so much better on him than uproar was back in the day uh well not really back in the day but in ruby and sapphire and emerald he would learn uproar because echoed voice didn't exist but echoed voice is so much better because you're not locked into the move but it's still like the more you use it the better it gets how could a future ace grunt be defeated what should we do now we must obtain that case at once huh I would never have posited that a mere child would prove such an obstacle. Now here I was wondering how you could get held up in the simple act of seizing a case. Do I take it you are being stimmied by this child? Hmm. Though you are but a child, your eyes tell me of your fierce determination. My heart is pounding in my chest. Yes, I think I can see why my lowly grunts could not stand one minute against you. I am called Maxi. I stand as the head of Team Magma, a noble organization whose goal is to propel humanity to even greater heights of progress and evolution. Indeed, and you are one of the young persons who may shape our society's future. Considering that fact, I believe I shall educate you in the ways of the world. The land. It is the stage upon which humanity stands. The land exists so we humans might continue onward and upward, stepping into the future. For us to continue growing and evolving, humans require a grand stage upon which to stand. A land upon which we can stride forward. A land we can explore, develop, exploit. This is the basis of the growth of all human endeavor. That is why we, Team Magma, must increase the landmass of this world. Believe that this will lead to a future of eternal happiness for humanity, and consequently for all life. Hmm. I suppose the concept may still be too difficult for a child to comprehend. Is that the case? At least I have tried to open your mind. I will take my leave for now. I suggest you take care that you never again stand against Team Magma. I will not be so lenient the next time. I implore you remember that. We are done here. 
Wow, that was badass! Oh my gosh, I'm so pumped. I don't know why. That was so cool. Maxi is not messing around at all in this game. He just never, I couldn't ever take him seriously in the original games. But now, he is not messing around. He gave us his plan straight up. Told us straight up that we were a kid and we're not even going to understand. And then he smiles at the end. Like he had a little smirk going on. Wow. That was just so cool. A tense situation. And the music. Were you guys hearing that music? It was like straight up anime going on right there. Oh, I love this game. Oh, yes. I almost forgot that you brought the parts from Devin. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. So, sir, take him on and take a hit about it's finally for us. To, uh, they're going to go explore the ocean floor. That's cool, though. We're going to just chill out in this museum and check out what there is to do. And after we finish that, I'm actually going to swap over back to Alpha Sapphire, our main version. Like I said, I'm just going to kind of be doing this every once in a while. So if you guys have any suggestions for this kind of B team with Beats and Febreze on it so far, uh, let me know in the comments what I should add. And then, oh, look at that, the Royal Unova. That's kind of cool. They have the... The cruise ship from black and white, and then this is the SSN, I'm assuming. Yup, yup, the SSN. I didn't really read what this thing was, though. Submersible pod, a replica of a compact unmanned pod for sleeve floor operation. And then I'm guessing this is the submarine that we're going to be seeing later on. And then this might be the thing that, uh, huh. I don't know if that's the ship that got sunk, or the abandoned ship, I mean. But it says that it's the one being or built in Stern's shipyard, so probably not. And look at that, now there's actual people here in the museum. What an awesome time we're having. What's up? Want to learn about the sea and the use that for battling? What is that thing in there? I have no idea. There's so many strange contraptions in here. Do you perhaps like Pokemon? Ah, uh, I don't want to tell you anything. There's way too many TV reporters and things in here, so let's head out and back to Alpha Sapphire. Alright, I kind of like the Team Aqua music a little bit more. I don't know, I just, I've always liked Team Aqua more. So I want to see now which of these cutscenes I enjoy the most. Maxi was really good. It felt really tense and it was really serious. So we'll see how it goes with Archie now. <laughs> Hold up a moment, we'll be taking those. What was that? Who are you people? We're Team Aqua. Our boss wants the parts, so fork it over. And uh, I just want to see real quick if it is Carvana or if it's going to be some other Pokemon. But I was just assuming that every Pokemon that was a Numel in the previous battle, yep, is going to be a Carvana in this one. So we're going to make quick work of this guy. What I was saying, though, is that as far as taking on Team Aqua and Magma, my starters are really, really backwards in these playthroughs. I picked Trico in the playthrough where we're going to be fighting mostly uh, fire types. And I picked Mudkip in the one where we're going to be fighting mostly water types. So... While Mudkip is not a bad- Are you serious? What? The heck was that? Oh my gosh. We just got destroyed. Wow. Well, that really sucked. Valor got, like, destroyed. So, I don't know what happened there, but you beat the 27th strongest grunt in Team Aqua. Really, dude? 27 strongest? Now what? If we don't get that case, we're in for it. Arg, nobody thought that we'd be stopped by some meddling kid. Is this Scooby-Doo? What is... <gasps> what do we have here? I came to see what was taking so long just to steal a few parts and I find you simps get beat by this kid. <laughs> That's quite a fierce expression to such a wee little scamp. That face tells me you're not just another mindless trainer brat. The name's Archie. The rough-looking lot you see here are members of my team, Team Aqua. So tell me, boyo, do you think that Pokemon people and all life in this world depend on the sea for life? That's right, the sea is an irreplaceable treasure for every living thing on this planet. But with our selfish extravagance, humanity dirties the great ocean, destroying this source of all life. Day by day, we're all destroying our most precious resource. If we humans suffer from our actions, well, maybe we'll end up getting what we deserve. But what about the Pokemon of our world? The Pokemon that no longer have a place to live because we stole and soiled their seas. The Pokemon that won't have a place to raise their young and watch them grow. We are creating a world in which innocent Pokemon suffer as a result of our actions. And that is something that I can't forgive. That's why I came to a decision, see? The foolish actions of my fellow humans, the seas you have blighted, nature itself, 
we will all turn everything to its unspoiled beginnings. Heh! <laughs> it's not like me to talk so much. Never mind, little scamp. I'll withdraw for now and leave you be. But understand this. Get in my way again, and you won't walk away unscathed next time. Remember that, at least. We're moving out, lads. All right, so not quite as convincing as Maxi's argument because Maxi's argument is for the advancement of humankind. Archie just kind of wants to, I guess, protect the Pokemon that are suffering because of us dirtying the ocean, which isn't bad. You know, Archie thinks about the Pokemon. Maxi just thinks about humanity. So which one are you on? What side are you standing on? Do you want Team Aqua or Team Magma? Let me know in the comments, Team Aqua or Team Magma right now. Like... Which side would you be on if this was kind of a real world situation, you know? If the oceans are getting dirty, the thing about Team Aqua is, even though, you know, it's obvious that Archie cares about protecting the, the Pokemon and stuff like that in the ocean, that doesn't mean you should expand the ocean. Though I guess he just wants to revert it to the way that it used to be, but Maxi himself really wants to like step over and grow the landmass. Huh. Well then. Look at that, guys. There's a little Mega Stone, huh? Just lying around like that a little. All right. But yeah, the Alakazite is right there. I didn't notice it in the last episode for whatever reason. I just didn't see it there. I walked past it, I think twice, and I didn't see it. So I'm sorry that I didn't notice it, but there we go. We've got it now. By the way, here is the Name Raiders house, so you can go in there and get your Pokemon nicknames. Also here is the Context Spectacular, and I'm not sure if I really want to head in here, but uh, I guess we'll do it. What? Uh, no, okay, let's turn around. I, I, I didn't like it there. Kind of made me uncomfortable a little bit. I will be doing a special episode on the Contest Spectacular, but not just yet. We'll come back there later. Let's heal up. But this episode is not over yet. We're going to head up to the north and to the next route now that Team Aqua and Magma are dealt with. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who are you? Hey, that's Lycia and Allie over there doing a shoot. Whoa, are you serious? Lycia, let's go. Gosh, dang it. Oh, okay. I guess we don't. Uh? Huh? Hi, everybody. Lycia here. Me and my Altaria, Ali, have come to Slateport City's Contest Spectacular for a bit of fun. Ali? I don't think Altaria says Ali. Well then, watch me as I dive right in again today. Yeah! Dazzling, dizzying, doldrums defying. Dazzling, dizzying, dazzling, dizzying. Whoa! Oh my gosh. Is this what true love feels like? Start! Lissy, scout me to be your next boyfriend. Are you serious right now? Alrighty, I'm going to bring another fantastic trainer into the wild world of contesting. Eeny, meeny, miny. And then you're gonna... Oh, I get it, Mo, because that's my name. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, munching orange, M-O, Mo. Ha, good, good one, Lysia. I got, I got you. You there, watching me with that baffled expression on your face. Hi, have you never joined in on a contest? That's just what I want to hear. I don't want to do this. I, I was just saying how oh, I didn't want to do this, and now we got to do it. Okay, let's get the show on the road. This is a trainer I'm going to scout today, and his name is... Orange! When I took a good look, I could easily see that Orange is a powerful trainer with several badges of his own already. Yeah, I could have another one if you would let me freaking go. Ah, listen up, because I don't just want to see you making your Pokemon strong. I want to see you bringing out a whole new side of them to show off. So here you go. Take these. It's a contest pass. And what else? The Pokebot kit. Okay. I don't want either of these, but thank you so much, Lysia. I'm just not a huge fan of Pokemon contests. I'm sure you guys might know that, but I know that they've kind of been improved in this game, and I do at least want to show off the feature. I just really didn't want to do it yet. I don't know why they're forcing us to do it, but whatever. A sudden encounter. Miraculous contest scouting. That's what I'd call it. Now everybody, watch theirs watching. You'd better expect great things from Orange because I do. That's it for today's Lysia's Miraculous Contest Scouting. See you all next time. Bye. Did she just say... The thirst is real. I got a bottle of Dasani right next to me, dude. You want it? Because I'm willing to give it to you. It's, it's cool. Alright, but... 
I guess we're not forced to do the contest, which is good because I really didn't. Are you serious? Those three dudes just followed right after her. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous, ridiculous Pokemon contest. How could, okay. One cool thing that I noticed and I wanted to bring up here real quick. Look at this. You can read signs not being directly in front of them. Finally, because that never made sense. It's like, do you have to be glued to the sign to be able to read it? Guess what? Now you don't have to do that anymore. Okay, can we finally get out of Slateport? Thank you. Oh my gosh, this looks freaking awesome. What? No, I just want to sit here and look at this forever. Oh my goodness. Look at that view. The cycling road above. The walking road below. The swimming road somewhere along the way. Oh, this looks so cool. Oh man, I wanted to run into that Pokemon. I don't know what the heck it was because I couldn't tell from its cry, but should I make a beeline for Mogul on Cycling Road or take the low road and look for Pokemon? Well, we have no other choice but to take the low road because we don't have a bike yet. So next time on Are You Serious? Come on! Oh, okay, never mind. I was saying, do we really still have more stuff to do in Mauville? Because that would not be the way it was normally. But my Dexnav is going off right now. The Dexnav senses are tingling. So let's see if we can find out what Pokemon it is by getting up close and personal. Is that a Zigzagoon? It is a ma an Electric. Hmm. Ha ha ha. Let's catch ourselves an Electric. I really like this Pokemon. And I know that somewhere around here, the Magnectric Megastone is lying around. So... Might even be able to get ourselves a nice Mega Magnectric. I don't know if I'll use it in this playthrough. I kind of want Mega Magnectric for my other playthrough. In this one, I was actually thinking about once we get Swellow. I, I still want to get Swellow. Oh my gosh. Alright, so this is going just like going up against Electrikes in my Emerald Nuzlocke. Yep, look at that. Huh. <sighs> I mean, I don't, I'm kind of being dumb right now the way I'm battling. I just really don't want to deal with this guy. Wait a second, we were going to catch him. Why am I still battling it? Alright, but... I'll just mention it in the next episode because I'm going to mention it at the beginning so hopefully more people can hear it. Uh, but I was thinking of getting uh, a Pidgey from X and Y and trading it over because I really, really want to use Mega Pidgeot. But there we go. Electric was caught. I don't know if I want to use him in this playthrough exactly. Um, but, you know, in the future, I really want to use a Mega Main Nitric at some point. I may even use him in the Omega Ruby copy. So whenever we head back to that game and we fight some more Team Magma and things like that, I will uh, show off. Electric, or maybe Mega Main Electric. I don't know. I don't know where the heck the thing is, but uh, nickname. I don't know. I can't think of one right now. So you know what? You don't get a nickname for now, buddy. Later on, you might get one. I just I don't know if I'm gonna use you in this playthrough or not yet. But it looks like other Pokemon that you can find in here. I know Gulpin is in this route, but I don't know what the heck that other thing is. Wait, is that a Lillipup? There's no way you can find Lillipups here. What? Do they actually have new Pokemon that you can find before? I I can't tell if. I don't know. That's That would be kind of weird, wouldn't it? Ha ha ha! I would go anywhere to show off my delightful Pokemon. Alright, we're going to do a little bit more in this episode. We're going to go above and beyond and I guess take on one more trainer because I want to end this off before that rival battle. The dreaded rival battle that I always seem to lose on. I don't know why, but we're going to see if in this game it is any easier or any harder. But first, got to take care of this Plusle in the way. And I'm guessing she's also going to have a Minor. See, this is another one of those battles that would have been a double battle if we were playing Emerald. But for whatever reason, they took or they got rid of literally all of those double battles. I guess because this is based on Ruby Sapphire, not... What the heck? Did you just give me a berry? All right. Well, all right. This Plusle just gave us a berry and... Cool. Thank you so much, Plusle. How we thank you for giving us that berry is by slapping you and killing you, but... You know what? Just know in your heart that I appreciated that berry, except you can't because you're dead now, so you can't feel it in your heart because your heart's not working anymore. This is getting kind of dark, isn't it? All right. Plusle is her second, or sorry, Minan is her second Pokemon, just like I thought. Why the heck are you encoring me, bro? Come on. I just wanted to mud shot you and get rid of this. Oh my gosh, look at that. Another Ornberry is coming out. Well, you gave us yours, so now if you even try to hurt us, oh my gosh, so dumb. Encore, Encore, Encore. Are you serious? You gotta be kidding me. You got you. All right. This Plusle and Minin. Are you serious? <laughs> She's got the strategies. I I'll give her that much. Uh, but come on, man. I don't 
don't have any more items from you. You gave me the berry and then you ate it. And, uh, okay. I'm not going to question it, okay? I'm not going to question it. The lady is clearly crazy. Pokefan Isabel with her magazines with smoochins on them. I, is that like supposed to be like a, like the celebrity magazines? But instead the celebrity here is smoochum. Let's just get guess that that's what it is. Hey, grandma, I don't have a bike, so I'll take a leisurely walk on the low road. Could you even ride a bike if you had one? I don't know. I think my grandma rides a bike. Uh, actually, no. She used to roller skate, though, a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, but not anymore. All right, so I think there's actually some hidden items along this route. Oh, my gosh, look at that. Another hidden Pokemon. What could it be? Let's find out. I think it's another... Oh, it's a Plusle. Eh. Nah. I don't really want to catch a plus hole, so... Uh-oh! You were spotted! Try moving more... Oh. I thought it said that we were spotted by the trainer, because clearly we did, because I ran into him. Hey, Timmy! We battled Tommy earlier, and now we're battling Timmy, I guess. This is like his twin brother, who looks exactly the same as him, and carries not exactly the same Pokemon, because I think Timmy had... I don't know, Tommy... What Pokemon did the youngster Tommy have? I don't even remember. Why are you spitting sand in my face, Poochiena? That is not cool, bro! How could you? Guess what? Now you're down for the count. Take that. I'm hoping that Valor will evolve relatively soon rather than later, but I don't know. He still has a couple of levels to go. I think he evolves at 22. I'm pretty sure about that considering he didn't do it at uh, 19, but I am kind of a little worried about this rival battle coming up. I kind of want to evolve our buddy Valor here before we take that on or get my Pidgey, either one. I'll talk about it in the next episode though because we really don't need a Pidgey right now considering the next gym is Electric type. All we need to focus on is training up Finn for now and that's why we are doing just that as well as Beldum. Beldum might not do bad at all in that Electric gym uh, because he can, well, I guess he's just neutral against everything but I don't know. He's got kind of good attacks. Are you serious? We missed our Mud Shot. Is that even Mud Shot or Mud Bomb? Okay, it is Mud Shot. I was like, Okay, I remember Mudkip always gets Mudshot, but they changed the animation so much that it doesn't look like the Mudshot of the old games, so I got kind of confused. It looked more like a, like a little bomb. I guess it's more like a mud shot Shotgun kind of thing. Oh, there's the Mud Bomb. I knew he was going to get it at some point, and look at that. Looks like as soon as I bring it up, that's when we get it. So now, which one shall we go for? The Mud Shot or the Mud Bomb? Nobody will ever know. I guess they did kind of make it look more like a shot though, like mud shot looks kind of like you're shooting a shotgun, how it spreads all over, I don't know, but here is a dire hit, and that is going to end off this episode everyone, so thank you all so much for watching, next time we will take on the dreaded rival battle of the cycling road, or whatever this route is called here, I think it's route like 110 or something like that, I always lose or lost this thing when I was a kid, I don't think we're gonna lose it this time around, but you never ever know what the heck just oh my computer was about to like shut off but thankfully it didn't so i will see you all in the next one